guys welcome to another one of my financial vlogs and this vlog I'm going to give you some ideas on how you can grow your passive income streams so just to recap passive income is income that you earn from non-active means which simply means that you don't have to do work in order to earn that income so your job is an example of active income where you get paid for the time you work but passive income is where you put in the money up front and then you reap the rewards later. Examples of passive income include rental income, interest income, dividend income, capital gains and royalties. So before I start on giving you some tips, I just want to remind you that investing your money is about gaining medium to long term returns, which means it's going to take time and a lot of commitment in investing your money so that you can get that return. So one of the quickest ways to grow your passive income is to invest in financial assets and securities. So already you probably get confused, you're like, well, I don't know what that is. Fear not. I'm here to explain. The key thing to remember about any investment is that risk is involved. And the higher the risk, the higher the return. Now I can't cover all the financial assets that are currently available on the market, but here are some key ones that if you have a lump sum amount of money or you want to invest in piecemeal, you can start small and actually, through compound interest, be able to accumulate wealth. First, let's talk about dividend stocks. So basically these are investments that are listed on the stock exchange which um, are affected by the share value that is listed but in addition to that what you can get is a dividend which is based on the borrower's financial performance so at the end of the year if you invest in fcb or surgical stocks what happens is if that company makes a profit they also pay you a return which is known as a dividend in addition to that, if your share value increases, then you get something that is called a capital gain return, which is simply the increase in the value of your share. Another investment that you can look at is a certificate of deposit. These are offered by different financial institutions such as banks or credit unions. This is a relatively safe investment because what you are doing is taking a fixed sum, investing it for a fixed term or period of time, and usually the rate of return is also fixed. So you know that when you put your money in your investment, you are going to get back your principal exactly as you give it, as well as a fixed rate of return. You can also invest in treasury bills from the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago. They usually have a minimum requirement amount that you can invest, and it can go for three month period, six month period, or even a year. Those investments are relatively fixed rate returns as well. So they are relatively safe. So the persons who have a lump sum of cash and realize that they're not getting any kind of return from the bank, what you can do is actually take your money and go and invest it into a central bank treasury bill. It's a good way to also diversify your investments and make sure that you don't have all your eggs in one basket. You can also invest in income and mutual funds. These are offered by various financial institutions such as Ansa Merchant, Guardian Asset Management, Bo Securities, some of those that I actually recall. What you want to do is invest in a fund that gives you a good rate of return over a period of time. I also want to recommend that you invest your money in a credit union. Credit unions offer dividends on shares purchased. These shares are not affected by changes in prices because it isn't quoted on the stock market, which means the value of your shares will remain the same. The dividend is paid annually based on the financial performance of the credit union. Depending on which credit union you invest in, you can get dividend payouts of 2 to 5%, which is quite attractive given the rates of return on the market these days. Again, it will require additional research on your part. So those are some simple ideas on how you can invest your money and which financial assets to choose. Of course, this is going to take some research on your part. Growing passive income is not a one-month goal. It is actually a lifelong plan and strategy that you have for your finances. So all these get rich quick schemes that sound so sexy at the beginning, oh I'm going to get this amount return if I put in this amount of asset, don't ever fall for that, okay? Growing and building your wealth takes time and it's never sexy, it's actually a lot of discipline and a lot of 
you paying attention to your finances. So, if you found this vlog very insightful, then like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to all my social media pages. I'll include it in the link below for you all. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless.